J.J. Abrams. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'll keep this uh, short and sweet. Uh, there are many fine actors. What if that was all I had to say about Benedict? That would be an awful, an awful speech. Uh, there are many fine actors, but few who are innately uh, talented and, and, and so convincing and so focused, dedicated and accomplished, that simply by being on set, by being in the same scene with other actors, that they make them better. There, there are a few actors who can do that, who can make directors and, and crews better just because of his presence. And it'll surprise no one that Benedict Cumberbatch is one of those actors. It's always a joy to see someone doing exactly what they were put on this earth to do, and that is the definition of Benedict Cumberbatch. Perhaps the best way to illustrate just how exquisitely skilled he is, just how remarkable he is at his craft, is that he's made commonplace the name Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Just think how good he is to have accomplished that. The truth is, it's hard not to be annoyed with Benedict. Beyond being one of our finest actors, he's thoroughly decent. He's big hearted, he's actually fun, he's really funny. It's tempting beyond words to roast him now because he'd actually like it, but I won't do that. But I will repeat that he's annoying. Why? Because he's also great looking, has a brilliant mind. He's from like esteemed lineage or some shit. He's a loving husband and father. He, he sends you pictures of his, their children and they're, they're gorgeous. He's a painter, he's a commander of the order of the British Empire. Any normal person would maybe try, aspire to and choose one of those things, but Benedict is all of those and much more, which is why it was so much fun when we were shooting our Star Trek film to play a prank on him. We were shooting at the Lawrence Livermore Labs in Northern California, and we convinced Benedict that it was actually dangerous to shoot there. That the neutrons were so powerful that they were potentially lethal. And in order to film there safely, that we all had to wear neutron cream which was just face cream, but, but Benedict didn't know that. He didn't just wear the cream. He, we actually had him film a public service announcement about neutron cream, of which I have the footage, which is available upon request. The world is a mad place. There is agony and injustice, it seems, everywhere you look. So what a lovely thing to be here to celebrate someone so deserving, an honor so befitting, it is my sincere and deep pleasure today to congratulate my dear friend Benedict Cumberbatch on receiving a star on the Walk of Fame. Thank you. <laughs>